Welcome back to the Crypto Report. I'm Black C, and I have another video for you guys. Today, I want to talk about Crypto.com Crowcoin. Take a look at Bitcoin because we had a very nice move yesterday. And I want to see if we're going to continue. So without further ado, let's hop into this video. So guys, right now, Bitcoin is trading at $39,536.80, up about a half a percent on the day. Bitcoin dominance climbing up ever so slightly at 52.09%. When you exclude stable coins, it's about 54.09%. That is a, about a 0.09% increase since yesterday, but I'm going to see probably an increase in this. I, I really am seeing the Bitcoin dominance to my prediction here is that Bitcoin dominance will gain a little bit higher as we get into this Bitcoin halving. I think that uh, Bitcoin needs to steal the spotlight a little bit which it kind of is, but it's really interesting that these altcoins are running up with Bitcoin right now, probably because we've been basically chopping to the upside over the past week or so. But I'm really waiting for Bitcoin to make that real breakout to the low 40,000s, consolidate, and kind of leave some of the altcoins in the dust for a little bit. And then after Bitcoin does gain its spotlight and, cal and calms down a little bit, then we can start to see a little bit more of a altcoin rally. But right now, we're seeing kind of all of it come up together, which I do want to mention is a very good thing because that does mean overall that the money is just coming into the crypto space. It's not getting traded around the liquidity. It's not getting moved from Bitcoin to ETH and the altcoins or ETH and to Bitcoin. It's, there's, there's outside liquidity outside liquidity coming into the space, which is very, very good. That is good. That's how we grow. That's how we have Bitcoin hype cycles. That means that there's people on the sidelines that are coming into the crypto space. Right now, Bitcoin being above 39,000 is very, very good having this breakout. And it looks like we're somewhat sustaining it, which is very nice to see. I would really like to see this weekly candle this daily candle close definitely if we can get a daily candle close above 39,000 that would be quite something but i do really want to see a a break into 40,000 i want to see us test it get above it above 40,000 we're so close it will be a very very strong move if we do do that uh, because honestly if we break above 40,000 i think 42,000 is on the table and that's going to be somewhat of a decision point. Uh, if we reach the $42,000 price level, it's either we consolidate there for a breakout, or that's going to be a local high, and we're going to spill over to make a new higher high, maybe at about $35,000. But at some point, at some point, we need a little bit of a correction. I will tell you this price action, I've been talking about this in a few of my videos, I don't like that formation. I don't like the rising channel formation like that. Uh, it's, it's almost a rising wedge type of formation. It's very, very toppy. It reminds me a lot of, when we zoom out here, the previous tops that we had in the bull market cycle. It's very, very similar to this price action here. Not so much the second peak, but very much so this price action right here. It's, it's very, very similar to it. And that's why I've been saying I really wanted to see this breakout happen by mid-December. Otherwise, I think that there would probably be a pullback. And um, we are starting to see that breakout, but it's I want to see a significant breakout. I want to see us break into 40,000, 42,000, create some structure. But all in all right now, Let's celebrate a win. We're above 39,000. We broke above 38,500 the other day. Very, very nice to see. The altcoins are doing very well. Crowcoin is coiling up, getting ready for a nice move, trading at 0 0.0922 cents. If Bitcoin decides to, tr to stay at this price level, guys, we are going to see a breakout above. We will see it happen. We will see a breakout above that 0 0.0992 cents. See us in that 10 cent price level around there be very very patient guys uh, but like i've been saying you know i do want to see bitcoin steal the show for a little bit i do want to see that we're getting closer and closer to the bitcoin having it's a, about 150 days away 140 days away in that ballpark 
Let Bitcoin steal the show. Let people FOMO into Bitcoin. Let people on the mainstream media start talking about Bitcoin so that we get some more hype in this space. Let's see Bitcoin make a move to maybe 50,000, 55,000 by the end of the year. I know that people were calling for that way back here when we were trading at about the $28,000 price level. We started making that break above. Once we got into 30000 right here, people were saying, Santa Claus rally, 55 k Bitcoin. I thought it was way too aggressive, but maybe. Maybe now it's on the table. Maybe this FOMO behind these Bitcoin spot ETFs will really do that thing. FOMO, make people FOMO in. Maybe that will actually happen, and maybe we will see that 55 k And if we do see 55 k before the halving, you bet that Bitcoin dominance is going to really, really absorb a lot of the liquidity. I mean, otherwise, if it doesn't, and we go to about 55 k and it's money coming from the sidelines, oh man, that's what you really want to see. But I don't know if I could uh, get behind that idea. I, I think that a slow grind of 55k is a very unlikely, especially when you look at previous Bitcoin history and price action. It's very, very unlikely, unlikely for a slow grind to previous all-time highs leading into the Bitcoin halving. But... If we did see that, if we did see money flowing into the space, getting to about 55K Bitcoin and Bitcoin dominance staying around like, say, 55% or even, yeah, 55%, let's say, you you would see these altcoins be flying. You will see them being, the, the market cap of the entire crypto asset class as a whole ballpark would probably need to be around 3 trillion, 4 trillion, which is previous all time high. We broke above about 3 trillion in the previous Bitcoin cycle, which would be very, very, very crazy. But you never know, guys, um, with all this hype behind these Bitcoin spot ETFs and these quote unquote green lights that are sitting at yellow <laughs> before they turn green, it might really be a catalyst that really shoots us up here into the higher highs and. New all-time highs before the halving. I think that's super aggressive, but it's maybe it may be possible. Uh, the the Bitcoin spot ETF deadline is in January, between January 10th and like 15th, I believe. It could happen. There could be some fireworks. There definitely could be fireworks. There also could be buy the rumor, sell the news. You need to keep that in the in the back of your mind. There definitely could be a buy the rumor, sell the news, especially because of this climb we're getting. Towards that price, this, this is this could be front running, but at the same time, I will argue that we were due for this move to the upside. When you look at the previous cycle, this recovery off the bottom, and that you you, you almost need to disregard this dump because that was a true black swan event. Will we get another capitulation? I was thinking that we were. I think that we, we do need a move to the downside at some point here. But maybe it won't be as aggressive and deadly as this Black Swan event we had back in the when we had the pandemic dump. But time will tell, guys. Time will tell. But there's something exciting happening in the crypto space. There's volatility coming back. There's money flowing into the space. Look down here. Look at that green money flow wave coming into Bitcoin. Very Cool to see. We're looking at the daily chart here. Very, very nice to see. But guys, if you like this type of content, please like this video. Subscribe to the channel right now. Also, please check out the description box below this video. We have some awesome referral links. $4,100 sign-up bonus with Femex. $8,100 sign-up bonus with Bot with BitGet. There's lots and lots of free money to receive from these exchanges. They know the hype is coming back into the space. They want to get you on their platforms. So they're giving you some bonuses and rewards for trading. But that's all I got, guys. Thank you so much for, for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.